Ivory Coast constructing the 1.7 billion ambitious Abidjan Metro. Ivory Coast, which is known as Côte d'Ivoire, is a country located on the south coast of West Africa. Its economic capital is Abidjan and is the largest city as well. This city is richly blessed with political stability, which has driven its economic forward and forward. Abidjan been its capital, has problems when it comes to traffic. This has made it difficult for circulation of people in the city and also a huge problem when it comes to workers, which bring us to the reason why Ivory Coast is constructing the 1.7 billion Abidjan Metro. Sit back and let African Reloaded take you on a tour. The Ivory Coast's population of over 2 million people spend more than two hours traveling to work by bus or automobile, causing not just motor traffic but also human traffic. To address this, the government has decided to build a metro rail system, which will be the first of its kind in West Africa. The Abidjan Metro is a 37.5-kilometer rapid transit system that serves Abidjan's economic hub. Construction began in 2020 and passenger service is planned to commence in 2025. This train route will consist of a single line with three stations. Bauer Dongson, a French construction company, is in charge of this project, which so far has included a single line train line and 20 stations. The driver of this metro train, which is created as an overground trial way to avoid tunnels, will be able to go at a maximum speed of 80 km per hour and a maximum frequency of 100 seconds. One of these Abidjan Metro trains is designed to transport 500,000 passengers per day, which equates to 100 million passengers per year, at a cost of $1.7 billion financed by France and the French development industry. Second, the first railway was built in the Ivory Coast and it was later extended to portions of French West Africa. A 70-kilometer route connecting Abidjan and Araguea was opened in 1905. The line was eventually expanded to other parts of the states, and in 2019, a contract for the building of a 37-kilometer light railway metro in Abidjan was given, connecting the city with access to the city airport. The Abidjan Metro Railway will be managed by Abidjan Travelers, which is also responsible for local transportation. The urban train will transport 500,000 passengers daily with one train every three minutes, seven days a week, and will connect the north and south of the city in 35 minutes, which is four times faster than before. This development contributes not only to the economy's success, but also to the lives of citizens and serves as a source of employment. Due to the nature of Abidjan, which has beaches and a variety of locations, this project will require the building of 24 bridges, one viaduct over a lagoon, 34 pedestrian footbridges, and eight underpasses. The train selected for this project is equipped with a next-generation communication and control system, and it is supposed to improve train regularity and safety. This elevated rapid transportation line, which will open in 2025, will provide a north-south link via the Ivory Coast, passing through states such as Abawa Jame, Traceville, and Port Bowet. Ivory Coast is one of Africa's fastest growing economies, and according to the IMF, the country's GDP will rise in the future years. Abidjan, the economic center, has a population of roughly 5 million people, or about 20% of the overall population. I am aware that I am the sixth most populous country in Africa, with a population of 7.7 .7 million people predicted by 2030. So far, economic improvement has been constant over the years, making it one of the best places to visit or even stay in West Africa. Although the project is welcomed by many, there are many who still disagree as we know that critic must be everywhere. Their reason is that the cost is high and suggested that the local bus would have been preferable. But that's their opinion because the government has the final say and that's why the project is going forward. If you enjoyed this video and want to know about the African continent, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our videos. And don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded.